Hi, I'm Tommy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jenny. I'm Courtney. I'm Raleigh. And we are members of Pomona College Politics of Environmental Justice class. We'd like to take this moment to thank Uncommon Good for the thank opportunity. You. <laughs> for the opportunity that we have had to participate in this project and help preserve the Green Space Project in a product that Uncommon Good will be able to use in future years and raise awareness about this wonderful community partnership between Uncommon Good and the Claremont United Methodist Church, as well as the number of other organizations that have been involved in this effort. We look forward to seeing where this project is going in the future and to seeing all the benefits it's going to bring to the community of Claremont. Thank you. Thank you, yep. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, Uncommon Good. <laughs>
and then the next door, the Claremont School of Theology donated a bit of their land for the project as well, because we never could have afforded to buy land in Southern California, you know. And then, as you heard from Tim Dillon, he was able to locate this funding source that gave us the money to build. So our dream is becoming a reality today, and uh, we feel we feel very, very blessed to be able to turn and walk the other way. You know, we feel like the whole world is sort of marching towards a precipice, you know, and, and unthinkingly going towards, you know, a cliff, which is, is really the destruction of our environment. And today, we're turning around and we're walking back in the other direction and we're saying, hey, come follow us. This is a better way. This is a more beautiful way. Um, this is a more loving way. This is a happier way. So come follow us. Today, we're helping with the groundbreaking. Yeah, because they can... Need, they need all the help they can get. We've really appreciated working with Uncommon Good, especially Nancy has this awareness of cultural sensitivity and respect, respect for the earth, which is something that we as culture keepers keep close to our heart anyway. So to have her treat us in such a respectful manner, it's just been really appreciated by all tribal members. Our building is going to be made of the earth under our feet, and it will model a new way of living on this dear planet. They may postpone it. They may help some people. I think I'm fortunate I probably am not going to live to see the most terrible suffering that the collapse is going to entail. And that's because so many people are doing good things for the common good. But the truth is, working directly for the common good in that sense, in all of those ways that enable this civilization to last a little longer, before the worst of the collapse takes place, doesn't quite cut it. I'm delighted that Nancy Minty picked the term uncommon good. <laughs> Only the uncommon good is good enough to truly serve the common good. The Claremont United Methodist Church is so delighted to join in this partnership with uncommon good. We see so clearly ways that our mission and the mission of Uncommon Good are uh, very close together. The blessing which is really, in a sense, not a blessing. We cannot bless this land, nor can I bless this land. The land is already blessed. It was blessed at the beginning of time. Which means it is good. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it.